hello youtube viewers today i'm going to show you, uh, tell you and inform you about how to get best audio experience that is possible to get so first thing you have to understand how the audio file in your system comes to your ears and generally converts into sound so first point you have to understand audio generally never that oh this is mp3 this is sound no it's not like that so it uh, starts with like audio format uh, this is a uh, audio format logo of windows media audio it's kind of lossless and this is uh, going around for a lot of time like a uh, flag free lossless audio codec so this is a kind of uh, audio codes uh, this codes uh, embeds over your uh, audio files like uh, mp3 mp3 is the best uh, why I'm telling that because first it's the most um, what you say universal yeah that's that's a good word it's the most universal what you say uh, the most universal format and people say it's a lossy yes I agree with that but as soon as you go for let me show you some info about it as soon as you go MP, uh, MPEG 1 audio layer 3 you get 320 kbps the 320 kbps version of mp3 files is so good so good I mean it's uh, it's nearly as good as lossless the percentage if I uh, let's say original is 100 then mp3 320 kbps will give you around 89 yes that's true mp3 is capable of putting that much but generally people play around 160 and 200 and they say oh mp3 is not that good so how the audio gets uh, to your ears so first you have to understand it so first you have to play a file so let's say I have a file well it just should not be hard to find you could have like bazillion of files so yeah I have some files here so this is a file so how I'm going to uh, channel this to in my ears so that's not easy first you have to decode this decoding is a player's job so I'm using Windows Media Player so this is my player that is going to the, do the work of decoding it so that's a decoding step now this is uh, uh, people do say like player does uh, play a very important role I do not agree with that the most important thing is the file if the file is like 120 kbps audio uh, mp3 no matter uh, you say this is only 100 uh, hundred percent capable and you say oh this the audio is not so loud it's not good enough so you might think okay uh, I play in VLC and uh, increase up the volume to 400 percent that's not going to give you the best audio experience it's going to just make it loud and personally any music enthusiast is not going to like audio uh, means loud noise it's it's just a noise so that's not the best audio so it's and player does give you some options like uh, equalizer so but be aware you have to know how to use equalizer and more band does not even generally means like you have the best equalizer like 5 band equalizer 12 band equalizer so if you know sound spectrum then you can work around it if you don't know you will be generally increasing the bass bass and uh, compromising the background audio so you have to know are, if you are sure okay I am going to pay this for this uh, player and g getting that what do you say equalizer if you are sure do it but uh, be aware you have to learn first uh, equalizer is not something like oh it's equalizer I will do anything with it it's not like that it's not that easy and after that comes tuner tuner is a well it's the last step where digital format converts into analog format so uh, till now you have 1010101010101010 that kind of file uh, this is the spectrum of data that you have uh, in the tuner it converts into voltages voltages and uh, wave pattern voltage like 5 volts uh, then it will drop down to 3.5 to like a wave kind of deal so uh, wave kind of deal as after that you need an amplifier over it tuner does create audio sound that you can hear directly putting a headphone but it would be like very very low and if the tuner has inbuilt amplifier then it might work generally it has and people generally use like two levels of amplifier first amplifier is like uh, let's say you have a high end um, home theater system with yourself and you want to uh, you you probably uh, have like say ps3 and ps3 also has an uh, amplifier inbuilt in it it's like every audio device has it 
so fair said every audio devices but you want to like uh, power like very huge speakers with it huge speakers like that has very high amount of rms root mean square do not go with pmpo in speakers trust me pmpo sucks it's peak music power output a uh, speaker could say like i have uh, 5000 pmpo that only means that does not mean anything actually you have to check the rms that's the root mean square and that's of the transformer that's going to power the stuff so power is everything for an audio experience power is everything you need power in your audio file itself so if your audio file people make the biggest amount of mistake in the audio file they say they would buy a like huge amount of uh, um, high end gears like uh, I had uh, one of my friend bought this uh, what was this yeah this headphone this is phone cost like very huge it's it's, it's very expensive it's very expensive and he he went to the shop and sh uh, shopkeeper showed uh, gave him a demo of this and it was awesome sounding i'm not going to lie it loud lie to you but it was awesome sounding but he connects to his system and barely gets audio so like audio like <coughs> barely gets audio so what's the re what's the reason for that he was using 64 kilobits per second mp3 file so I, I cannot help it man I cannot help it you wanna get best audio the first step you have to fix is your file second player player is generally not a very uh, what you say it does not very it's not very important unless you want to like tune it and like dial in the settings and all that it does not it's not very important tuner you cannot do anything about it so leave it leave it at that amplifier so you could have like inbuilt amplifiers you could have like um, what you say external amplifier so amplifier is the only amplifier takes that tuner voltage that's very low like uh, 0 0.5 milliamps like no 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 0 0.5 milliamps is very high so like 0 0.0003 milliamps kind of deal like very low power very low power the signal is there signal is analog at this moment in time but it's very low power amplifier adds power to it and drives the driver what is driver this go round thing is the driver so like when you are buying headphones you must have you have, uh, must have to pay attention to like i generally use this headphone this headphone has power capacity of 1.5 watts this has around 6 to 8 be aware if you plug this uh, this black device into any mobile phone it's going to draw its battery like in five, 10 minutes one song well first of all it's not going able to play but if it manages to play at 8 to 10 watts it's going to draw the battery it means like it's going to kill the battery at the instance so it's not a very good idea but this i use this this is good and so so far now you have to understand amplifier amplifier how to check amplifier just check how much uh, power it uh, generates like uh, it will also have rms uh, on itself like say he say like on my subwoofer channel i am going to put like 100 watts of power on my satellite channel uh, speakers i will go put around 50 to 60 so you have to like understand this is just a power this is just a power stage if amplifier says upscaling it generally means like it will take the audio file and sample it and clear the noise in the process and upscaling i do not believe it could upscale like if there is no audio information in your audio file even nasa cannot put it in there so be aware of that so file is the first thing to fix generally people make mistake in this step player tuner now you are at the amplifier stage amplifier there could be bazillion amplifier like this this is a very good uh, amplifier from asus it's a dac actually a digital to audio converter converter and it ha it does upscaling and is and this is a very high end uh, DAC you can say and there is some extreme high end DACs that is like uh, have you seen like uh, that very fancy stuff like vacuum tips and all that so that is like that's a luxury item I'm not going to show you it's a luxury item I don't care about that so after that this is the where your uh, audio signal gets power for your headphone for your speakers it gets power it's it becomes raw so at this part it's it's a uh, it's completely analog so what happens after that you need driver for it what is driver so i told you the magnets in the speaker or in your headphone is the driver so bigger the size generally means more powered but it does not mean you will get better audio so you have to check few things it's up to you how you check it's up to you so let's say you buy a very high end very big speakers and your room is very small so you probably you are wasting your money and probably you will get a lot of echo and you say oh man this speaker does not sound good so 
fine tune fine tuning is the what you say key fine tuning is the key you do not need like hell of a like i told you uh, uh, guys buying this headphone is unless they are like pro and extreme and music enthusiast they are not going to enjoy this because this produce audio quality is around 98 percent and this produce around 80 but yeah for an average user it's not going to make any difference but for like pro extremely pro you can make out the difference but it would be very low uh, the second problem with the PC users is that their tuner is generally very bad and amplifier is well let's just say very low power so uh, what they can do is put something like this a sound card uh, and this sound cards like come in various varieties some big small and some sound card even comes with a power adapter you have to add actually uh, molex power why you s uh, they are headphone adapter but why why you need that i told you this if you want to drive this headphone you need a, a hell lot of power so it it does need that so you kind of get that idea so first so let me summarize everything first get a better audio file first audio file check second player check third tuner check now fourth step amplifier you have to check it you have to pay attention to the amplifier which kind of amplifier you have and check your headphones also but like if you have earbuds you do generally don't need a very big amplifier on the it does not need power a lot of power so you might want to check uh, this card is also a tuner so it uh, does a uh, what you say cleaning the electrical signal and all that kind of stuff so you get a better pleasant uh, audio experience so be aware of that also so after that driver comes in uh, for headphones just check if you want to just check the power of it just check uh, how much wattage it can handle the bigger does not mean the better bigger generally means it will drive it it, it generally limits its uses because you cannot use this headphone for your mobile phone not your iphone it, it will kill the battery instantly just open your mobile and uh, check the ba battery power it would be like 3 watts per uh, 3 watt an hour so it's not going to happen so be aware of that and for speakers i already told you check the rms not the uh, like this yeah see this is also a very high end setup like vacuum tubes and it's a digital to audio converter you generally don't need this like it's it's too high it's like uh, 99% it's too high but if you are a music music enthusiast it's up to you so i hope this helped thank you subscribe and i'm very sorry my youtube account was hacked and all my videos were bit has been deleted i don't know why somebody did that but sorry about that and hope this video helped uh, to get you a better audio experience from your system check your file check your tu uh, amplifier check the driver that's it three steps file amplifier driver if your driver is like too big Make sure your amplifier has enough juice to run it. That's it. Done. Go home. So dreams. Thank you. Thank you guys.